Yo, what's going on, guys? Your boy back with another video, and um, I got an I got an announcement I want to make before I even start. Um, last video I told you guys that um, my whole dream somewhat is to start talking about basketball and just you know make it like you know something like an everyday thing somewhat. And um, I was thinking of one of my first video about basketball would be. And why not why why not start with the NBA Finals coming up? And some of y'all, you know, know me. I love basketball a lot, bro. And I I always talk about basketball on my Snapchat, Twitter, not Twitter, Instagram. I'm thinking about making a Twitter though. I'm thinking about making a Twitter. But um, but yeah, my first video about basketball and shit probably be now that depends on when the finals end because or when the finals start. Or when the conference finals end for the East, because the Lakers clinched their, their um finals berth last night, and man, I am so happy for the Lakers, man! Shout out to Bron and AD, baby! Lakers, Lakers 2020, bro. They have to do it for Kobe. I'm just gonna keep it. I'm just gonna keep it at that. They they gotta do it for Kobe. Um. Um. All right, getting back to what I was gonna say. I really don't know when the series is gonna end between Boston and Miami. Particularly because we've seen comebacks already this year, 3-1, and granted, both of them was the Nuggets. But I feel like, you know, when when the team is down 3-1 and they win game five, they usually have some moment, not momentum. They have a little momentum, but a lot of confidence to think they can win two more straight. So, Boston is technically the better team. It's just the better team is not playing like it. So, I kind of see Boston winning game six and... Man, I really was going for Miami, but man, after game five, it's just the problem with Miami is they're so they're so inconsistent. Like games one and two, they are start their um games one and two, like game one, they were down twelve in the fourth quarter, came back and won. Game two, they were down sixteen at halftime. Then they started playing the zone. Then they ended up winning the game. Um game four, they were up at half or some I think they were up like ten or twelve in the first half. Then Boston comes out of nowhere and just starts getting it going. Game five, Miami was up, I want to say, 12 again, 11, maybe 13. And then my, and then Boston just comes and blows them out. So if Miami can be consistent in game six, you know, just like a wire-to-wire -wire win, then they're going to go to the finals. But if Boston keeps on exploiting that zone, which I keep saying – Miami needs to stop playing zone. They can't play zone all, all, all like the whole game. They can't play zone the whole game. It works for some teams. I mean, I mean it's worked for Miami, but you know, it's different with the Bucks than the Celtics because they all know who to stop with. Gian they all know who to stop with the Bucks, and that's Giannis. But I mean Middleton maybe, but that's it. And then everybody's everybody's a shooter. With Boston, you got like three stars and. Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, and Kemba Walker, right? And then you got who else is in your starting lineup? Um, Gordon Hayward, which he's somewhat of he's a he's a big factor in that lineup, but you know he's not the twenty five per game scorer like he is um, before that injury. And then they, Daniel Tice. So um, they got three stars to worry about. You could do man, but. I feel like Duncan Robinson and Tyler Hero, which I love Tyler Hero and Duncan Robinson a lot. I feel like they get a lot. I think they'll get exposed a lot, like ISOs and stuff like that. But anyway, I'm going to say that for another video. I'm going to say that for another video. I'm done talking about basketball. I've, done, I've talked about basketball for like four minutes. I'm saving that for another video. Anyways, um, like I said, when the when the NBA Finals matchup you know, is official, then that's when I make my predictions video. And then that's when we start making videos and videos about that. Anyways, um... Speaking of Boston, we got a sneaker review. Um, or the Celtics. Speaking of Celtics, here we go. I'm just gonna, I'm just not even gonna talk. Fuck it. Here we go. We got the Air Jordan 14 box. There's a 13, 14 box. I said 14. My fucking fault. 13s. Air Jordan 13s. I'm still used to the Candy Canes for some reason or the um Hyper Royals. Anyway, here goes the logo real quick or the label. If you guys can see it right there. All right, here we go. Without any further ado, bam. Here we go, guys. 
the Air Jordan 13, Lucky Greens, um, Ray Allen knockoffs, whatever you want to call this shit. Um, so here you base, it's basically like you got a um a upper white leather, and then your Lucky Green for the sides, your suede right here, um, and then your black outsole along with carbon fiber on the bottom. Then you got your white pods as well. White tongue, green logo for the jump man, green logo, um, green lettering for Jordan with a black, uh, black, um, tab. Um, I wish I could just like, you know, like do the flash or something like that. Cause you have that little 3MB liner or something like, like all around here. And a lot of people got turned off because of that. I really don't know why they got turned off because of that. Um, I actually like this shoe a lot, to be honest with you. Like, like I said, man, it's it's a basic colorway. I love basic colorways, man. I just, I don't like all that, that freaky shit like I used to in high school, you know? Like, like high school, I had the 29 hairs. That's like five different colors on one shoe. And all I could wear was black tee. A black tee, really. Black tee or white tee? Really not even a white tee, to be honest with you. I think the black tee would go better with that. Black tee, black pants, and then the, the hairs. But with this right here... Um, the green looks better than in, per in pictures. I feel like you can actually get um, a Celtics jersey with this, to be honest with you. I mean, it's, it's bound for that. It's supposed to be like a Celtics 13. But like people were talking about the green is not Celtics green. Um, it's, bro, like, I, I think it I think it actually is, to be honest with you. Like, I don't, I don't see like that big of a difference. Like, if I had a Celtics jersey right now, I'd show you, but... Yeah, the green is not bad. Like, it's it's really nice, to be honest with you. Like, yeah, it looks like it on video. But, like, in person, though, it doesn't look as light as people think it. Like, people says it is, you know. But, um, having to give it a quick rate. I'll say, um, I mean, 7.5, 8 out of 10, really. Um, I mean, I don't know what else you want me to rate it. I mean, it's a basic colorway. I think it's just because it's a green I think if, if I had the blue pair, if I had the blue pair, oh, I'd definitely give it a 10 because blue is like one of my favorite colors. Blue, red, black, white, um, purple as well for shoes. Green is eh. Green is sometimes, like, I really don't like the pine greens. I like, like, I don't even know why I got them, but I like these a whole lot more than the pine greens, you know, just because pine green is like a darker green. The material on them is not really good on them. I see them going up though, so I might sell them eventually. But I like these though. I, I like these. Uh, um, expect these to go up in price next year. Like not right now. Event like not right now, obviously. But I mean, I don't even know how much the Hyper Royal Thirteens are. Last time I I was gonna buy a pair for two fifty, and I thought that was a good price. They might be three right now. I don't know. But I'm ready for the Hyper Royal Thirteen, the all black ones. I'm ready for the um. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready for the Hyper Royal 13 Black Persian pair because I need that pair so bad. Like, imagine it's a it's literally a bread shoe, you know, like the bread 13s. But then, but you know, everything that's red is blue, really. So, um, and my bad. I look like I just woke up and shit. My bad. <laughs> but um, yeah, bro, this 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 really isn't a bad pair, bro. I don't know why people think this is like not all of that. I mean, it's. It's it's a basic colorway for me, you know. I'm like more into basic colorways and shit. Not you know, like I said, that freaky deaky shit. But um, but yeah, you know what? You know what? Now I now I kind of see why people don't like the um the liner. Like this part is white, but like imagine if you get this shit dirty, like you know, it's gonna be hard to clean if that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to spray some of that um repellent on there, but. Uh, let me know what you think about these. What do you think about the Air Jordan 13 Lucky Greens? Um, if you had a rate of 1 to 10, I say I give it a 7.5 out of 10. 7.5, 8. That's a, fair, that's a fair rating. That's a fair rating. But um, make sure you guys leave a like. Um, if we can get to a fucking... Man. Um, if we can get to like 100 likes or something like that, which I don't even, I don't even have that much subscribers. So I don't even know why I'm asking for that much. But like that's why I say make sure you guys comment, subscribe, share, all that shit. Subscribe, share this channel and this and that. 
um i'm gonna be having a sneaker collection um video coming up soon i just want to get a couple more pairs and you know i just, I just want to cop a couple more pairs and that's it i really just want to cop a few more pairs and then bam we can get started on that um but make sure you leave a like on the video comment subscribe let me know what you think about the air joint 13 lucky greens and until the next video i'm out peace